Elemental Dungeons just updated and Awakenings dropped and where I don't have the Awakenings to showcase to you right now because they are a little bit harder to get than I expected. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Awakenings, how to get them, everything you need to know because it is a little complicated. So first off, you're going to need to do the Awakening Raids for whichever element you want and you're going to need to do it multiple times. So you're going to have to have a bunch of these keys so it's going to be pretty good to do with other people but this is one way to get these keys is from right here. So pretty much every time you spin this, it has a 90% chance to be Angel, 3% chance to be Reaper, 7% chance to be Dragon. And then after that, like it'll, so it'll spin on one of these, land on one, and then it'll spin on th these odds. So like say you want a Reaper, you would need to land the 3% and then land the 12%. But the problem is with these is you need to do it multiple times. So you don't only have to do the raid once to awaken it, you need to do it like five times, one for each and every single ability. And I'm pretty sure the Reaper you need to do it six times because I'm pretty sure it gains an M1 afterwards. So that's pretty much how you're going to like adjust some of the basics to the raids. Now, where you go to do the raids is just going to be straight up in here. Um, it's going to be back in the uh, laboratory place is where you're going to go for the raids. The code for this door is uh, 0421. And the code for this door And by the way, for the code for this door, it's plastered like, like these are where the hints are. It's one, seven. I already know the code, but this is where people figured it out was on these walls. I'm pretty sure I was actually told the code by a friend, but this code is one, one or one, three, three, seven. And this is how you're going to get down into the actual raid place. Now, once you're here, the other way to get raid keys is going to be from this raid merchant. He refreshes every, once every, I believe three hours. And he's gonna have random keys, Dragon, Angel, or Reaper. I would definitely come down here and buy some from him. You can see I'm buying, you can only have two at a time, <laughs> okay. But I would just buy them as much as you can. And then after that, what you're gonna do is come over here to this computer, click sign me up, and then choose the raid you wanna do. You need to be 160 for Angel, 190 for Dragon, and 230 for Reaper. Now, like I said, you're gonna need to do this a bunch of times because each time you do the raid, you swap out one ability. So for you, so like once you do the Reaper raid, your first sight slice move is gonna be replaced with something else. Now, once you complete the raid, I actually have a clip of this. I'll probably throw me up of me beating the raid. It wasn't on my account though, so I can't show you right here, but yeah, as you can see, once you beat the raid, you go over there, you talk to him and you need 2000 radium each time you do it. So for each new ability, you're gonna need 2000 radium, which is kind of a lot, like, you know, so for like Reaper, it gains an M1. So for Reaper, you're gonna need a total of 12,000 radium, like in total. And then for Dragon and Angel, I'm pretty sure only 10,000. So in total to get all of these things awakened, you're gonna need 32,000, which is kind of crazy. But once you've gotten that and you have a new ability, you can come over to Zood and you can click, I would like to swap some of my moves. This will allow you to swap between your awakened moves and your regular moves. And that's pretty much most of what you need to know for the awakenings, how to get them, how to upgrade them, swap between them, how to get some of those keys. Uh, and they also brought some other stuff as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for how to get awakenings and stuff. Obviously, I don't have the showcase for you at the moment, but I will as soon as I can get them done. Again, I have to do like, like tens of these rates or like over 10 of these raids. So it's, it's gonna take a second. I wanted to get at this out so people knew at least how to do it themselves. So, you know, but thanks for watching. See you.